Right, for more on this, let's bring in former New York Homeland Security Director Michael Balboni. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, giving us a couple of minutes of your time uh, here on this Christmas Day in the midst of this pretty remarkable breaking story out of Nashville. I want to start with the picture that was just released by the Nashville police of the RV that was driven under the scene. Uh, rather remarkable shot, pretty clear of the vehicle, not unexpected given the number of cameras that are down there in that downtown area, a big tourist district. What do you make of the RV and also the time it arrived uh, hours before the blast occurred at a, about 1.22 in the morning a.m. Uh, before, uh, hours before the explosion. Yeah, so the first thing that happens is when you come on the scene um, after the police have secured it, you're looking at, well, was this a device uh, that went off? And mm -hmm. so when you take a look at the bomb seat, the blast seat, and you take a look at the radiation of the, the blast itself, it's consistent with a high explosive as opposed to a fuel line. Second, you want to take a look at, well, are there any other victims in the area? You want to make sure that, you, that you've that you basically accounted for everybody. And the other thing, very, very important, is to have a investigation as to whether or not there are any secondary devices. So that's being done now. Now the step comes into the forensic aspects of it to try to determine in intent. What was this? And that will be pieced together from the debris at the scene, at different, if they can find pieces of the actual device itself. And then you take a look at circumstances, which is what the, your reporting has showed. So it's in front of an uh, AT&T building. Is it an infrastructure attack? Is it someone who used to work at AT&T and now is a disgruntled employee? It, but what's really curious about this is obviously the recording. So what we have not seen in Islamic uh, in the Islamic terrorist attacks is that you had a uh, device that went off with the the goal to have maximum injuries. Obviously, if you warn people about that, that's more akin to the IRA attack in London, where they actually made phone calls ahead of time in the 1970s. So again, was this a, uh, a revenge attack? Was it specifically against critical infrastructure? Or was it just something to show that, no, we can do this? You know, uh, some of the experts that have spoken throughout the day have kind of talked about this as being not an intentional act of, of injuring people, but at the same time, because of that very warning, um, but at the same time, this was an enormous blast. There are apartments that had windows blown out. You know, the people that were in that area were not safe, you know, you know right. in, in a massive explosion like this, right? Right. Just because you put out a message beforehand, evacuate, doesn't mean that was it was a safe thing to do in any way, shape, or form. And so it is it is an intentional act by the information that is there now. And remember, any type of investigation, you let the evidence take you where it takes you. Try not to jump to any type of conclusions. And, I, and this is in the very preliminary stages of this investigation itself. But now what you're going to be doing is you're going to take a look at outside information. And so one of the things that you should know is that the DHS put out a memo in, on December 22nd, essentially warning of a kind of an increased chatter of a, of a religious nature, uh, saying that there could possibly be a, a, an increase in, 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 incite, in messages of inciting violence during the holiday season, specifically with a, a focus on religion. And the other thing that we know is that holidays have always been a very difficult time for law enforcement mm -hmm. because there's, sometimes they get overwhelmed. There's people taking off vacations in the time of COVID, uh, in, it, very, very difficult and challenging generally. And people aren't necessarily expecting these types of, of uh, issues and incidents to occur during a religious mm -hmm. ceremony of, the, uh, of, of Christmas. Well, the officers that showed up to this scene certainly went above and beyond on this Christmas morning. They're heroes that saved a lot of lives before that explosion occurred. So wonderful point there. Michael Balboni, thank you so much uh, for your insight today. Thank Merry you. Christmas.